welcome you to Moments of Reflection. I am your host, Dr. Derek A. Reeves, and let's get right into our program today. Today we're going to talk about what do you do with the stuff in my mind, or dealing with the stuff in my mind. It's very important when we begin to understand the significance of how we can be attacked in our mind. In doing some studies for us in college, I've come across many different things over the years. But what amazes me is that the totality of mental operations, or well, most of it, takes place in the unconscious mind. And it's only bound to to 0.005 percent that takes place within the conscious mind. And so if these things are transpiring in the unconscious, and most of us never look at the unconscious mind, most of us are oblivious to what goes on in the unconscious mind, how then do you determine what thoughts are yours? How do you keep track of the thoughts that are progressive and the thoughts that are healthy or those thoughts that are destructive and lurking? How do you determine which thoughts you are consistently empowering and forging into neural pathways? And so when I begin to think about this, I begin to understand that so much of the mind is left vulnerable to the enemy. So much of the mind is left vulnerable to others who understand reverse transference, how to make you feel guilty and how to make you feel as if you are responsible for all of their woes and troubles. And so when I consider this, it's very interesting because it is a valid problem. And most people, because they don't understand the process nor are they invested in making the word a practicum. They will never fully understand what it's meant by the helmet of salvation. The helmet covers the mind and covers the brain and so, far, uh, so forth. And therefore, it deals with a covering that guards the mind and keeps you locked within the understanding of salvation and what salvation is and how Christ has applied it to our hearts, to our minds, and totally to everything about us. And so when we again examine over 90%, and it could well very be 97 to 98% of all occurrences of our thoughts occur within the unconscious mind, how easy is it or a spiritual pneumatic or a spiritual being to place something within your heart, within your mind, without you observing it. How often do we stir up the power of the Holy Ghost wherein we can even hear him as he begins to prompt us to guard ourselves against thoughts, values, philosophies, and so forth. When we look at the modern-day church, the modern-day church has been so anesthetized that many of them don't fully know what they believe. And in our youth, many of them believe that all roads lead to God and that Jesus is not the only way. There are perhaps more people who believe in flying saucers and spiritual entities but do not believe in the rapture or the God in which Christianity teaches. So how then do we combat the scenarios? How do we combat the intrusions into our minds? There's even been some experimentation where individuals can shoot radio waves into the mind to program certain beliefs, certain thought processes that later on when specific tunes or sounds or words can prompt an individual to do something that was subconsciously implanted. We're living in a time where we must put on the full armor of God. 
This has been moments where I simply reflect on specific things. Moments of reflection by just that. Things that come to me that I begin to consider that maybe I'll turn into a much larger comprehensive study or sometimes it's a passing thought that causes me to wonder and gives me the desire to go a little further. I thank you for joining me. I'm your host, Dr. Derek A. Reeves, and until next time, this has been Moments of Reflection. God bless.